All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, with Nirvana coming out being the first Synchro Pendulum Monster, uh, you know, people got inspired to do their own fake cards. So, the only one we're missing is the Fusion Pendulum Monster, which this person decided to go ahead and make a fake card up. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at it for Fake Card Friday. There's a couple of cards that I need to get to. I, I've been sent a handful of cards and, uh, and, uh, and suggestions, so I will get to those, but... Uh, like I said, in light of Nirvana, I was like, alright, let me go ahead and just do this one. I was kind of looking at it, I was like, eh, you know, in the same week that I did the card review for Nirvana, let's go ahead and do this. So, uh, this person decided to go ahead and make a fusion pendulum monster. I mean, it doesn't look bad, it really doesn't. You're purple at the top, green at the bottom, I mean, that's what we're doing now. We're just, you know, we, we ran out of colors. <laughs> red! <coughs> Why don't you have done red? <coughs> red! But, uh... Now it's just like, hey, you know, it's a purple fusion, but then it's also kind of like a pendulum monster, which have the bottom of spells, and no, oh, it's so creative. Anyway, this is Plasma Pendulum Drad... Dradin? 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 I guess it's Drad... Dradin? Oh my god, it's so hard to say. Dradin, I guess. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, it's a light level... looks like level 9? Yeah, level 9. Warm Fusion Pendulum Effect Monster with 2700 attack, 3200 defense. Wow, so more defense than attack. I mean, I guess, but uh, stats are not terrible. Really, not uh, made really easily. One Fusion Monster, one Pendulum Monster. I mean, you could pretty much do that with anybody. You just literally just throw your freaking polys in almost any Pendulum-based deck because you're already running your damn Insta Fusion for Norden. So you could literally just go Insta Fusion, Norden, Norden, someone back that uh, my Pendulum Sorcerer. That uh that I somehow got in the graveyard. Don't don't worry about it. I'm not cheating. Just it somehow ended up in the graveyard. So I'm gonna summon it back with uh Norden, even though it's not it shouldn't have been there, which is a sync material. We're, we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then instead of exceeding or doing whatever, just poly. There's a fusion monster. There's a pendulum monster. Bam. Here he is. So uh of course being a fusion pendulum monster, he will have a pendulum effect and a fusion effect. So we will go ahead and look at both. So, his pendulum effect reads, You can fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing the fusion materials listed on that card from your hand or side of the field. So, in exchange for, hey, you don't have to use poly anymore, you banish the materials, you know, whether it be on the field or in the hand. It's no miracle fusion, you can't banish from a graveyard. You're still doing the fusion with, car uh, with the materials in your hand and field, but you don't need poly, but they're banished. So, I mean, you know, take that with a grain of salt if you really want that exchange. All right. And the other fact is, when you pendulum summon monsters, uh, when you pendulum summon using this card, okay, when you pendulum summon using this card, so it's in the pendulum scale, scale of 10, I might add, I forgot to say that. 10? 10? It's a little high. Like, I don't think anything is higher than 8. Like, 10? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. You're like, holy crap, like... I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and more tell you when I look at the card, but I already have a general idea. And it has something to do with him being level 9, alright? So, uh... When you Pendulum Summon using this card, you can Pendulum Summon Fusion Monsters from your Grey Rack. That's broken. Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what? You Pendulum Summon Fusion Monsters from your Graveyard. No. No, that's dumb. Like, alright, well, I'm gonna Pendulum Summon all my Pendulum-based monsters who are in the extra deck. Oh, and because of him, I get to go ahead and revive my Fusion Monsters from my graveyard. And, of course, if I have a low enough Pendulum scale. Oh, Pendulum Summon a Fusion Monster from my graveyard. Hmm. Norden? Who will get his effect? Like, no, no, no. No, that's dumb. That's dumb. Like, I don't even, I don't even understand where you got that idea from. Like, no. Pendulum Summon Fusion Monsters from your graveyard. That doesn't mean... Uh, what? <laughs> So that's the pendulum scale effect. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the actual monster effect. So, uh, as I said before, fusion materials: one fusion monster, one pendulum monster. Simple. Slap a poly in there. Let's go. So, uh, effect reads: must first be fusion summoned with the uh, above fusion materials. Okay. When this card is fusion summoned, if you have no cards in one of your pendulum zones, you can place one pendulum monster from your deck or graveyard in your pendulum zone. That's broken. <laughs> That's broken. This, this, it's, like, it's literally like, hey, you summoned me? Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab any pendulum monster that you want. Anyone that you want. Monster! Uh, and go ahead and put him in the, the pendulum scale for you. Like, wow. <laughs> like, that, that's pretty powerful. That really is. So, it's just like, wow. Place one pendulum monster from your deck or graveyard and put it in your, pen, in, in your pendulum zone. Mm. Once returned, when a monster you control is destroyed. You can special summon one monster with the same type and level 
from your deck and face up defense position. That's broken. Like, holy crap. Like, summoning from the deck is already a big no-no, but, you know, you killed one of my monsters, so I get to go ahead and summon a monster the same type and level. But it doesn't even have to be the same card, the same type and level, and summon it from my deck. And it gets the effects. Like, no, 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 that's dumb. And it doesn't even say, like, destroyed by your opponents, by battle, by card effect, or anything like that. Just when one of your is destroyed. So if you destroy your own crap, you still get the effect. Like, no, that's broken. When a card effect that removes this card from the field is activated while you control no cards in one of your pendulum zones, it's, it's weird. While you control no cards in one of your pendulum zones, I don't even know why it's read like that. It said that before. You control no cards in one of your pendulum zones. It's just a really weird reading. Like, if you have one, like, an empty spot in your pendulum zone, like, I'm not sure about the card text, of course, and I don't believe anybody has actually corrected this person or fixed their card text, but that just seems like a really weird read when you have no cards in one of your pendulum zones. So if you have a pendulum zone open, you can negate the activation, destroy that card, and then place this card in your pendulum zone. Alright, and this was the shenanigans that I was talking about. Okay, so this card, and I, I, I can't remember off the top of my mind if anything has a high pendulum scale that high at least, maybe like, do, maybe please do. I don't remember, but Pendulum Scale of 10, pretty high. Yeah, Pendulum Scale of 10, remember, this card is level 9, <laughs> so, yeah, 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 you can Pendulum Summon this right back. And that that whole effect of placing the Pendulum Scale, that's optional. That's optional. So, with multiple of this card in your extra deck, uh, if this card is in your Pendulum Zone, you can go ahead and Pendulum Summon an, uh, a properly summoned copy of this right back in there, because of course it's a pendulum based monster. When it, it's destroyed, it's going to go back to the extra deck face up. Hey, my Plasma Dragon, my Plasma Pendulum Dragon has a uh, Pendulum Scale of 10, so hey, you know what's level 9 and lower? Hey, my Plasma Pendulum Dragon, so Pendulum Summon him right back? Like, oh my god. <laughs> At least he only gets his, his major effect, the whole place a Pendulum Monster and that, when he's fusing something, but still, I mean. The other effect is pretty powerful, too. And it's just when a monster on a f you control is destroyed, period. It doesn't say destroyed and sent to the graveyard. It doesn't say anything like that. Just when it's destroyed, even pendulum-based monsters that go back to extra deck. So that's pretty powerful. You you can ask your names with this and, and in Easter. And it's just crazy. Like, I get that you want to make it powerful, but it's it's a little dumb. <laughs> it really is. It's 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 a little dumb. They, like, the, the pendulum... Some, when you Pendulum Summon, you can Pendulum Summon Fusion Monster from Rivera. That's dumb. When this card is Fusion Summon, you can and you have a card missing in your Pendulum Scale. You can place one Pendulum Monster from your deck or graveyard to that Pendulum Zone. That's pretty broken. And then when a monster you control is destroyed, you can special summon the monster, uh, one monster of the same type and level from your deck, summoning from the deck, face up defense mode, and its effects are not negated or anything along those lines. That that's powerful too. And then just like, hey, when you remove this card from the field, you can go ahead and and you're missing a card in your pendulum zone. You can just go ahead and negate that straight and then set up this card in your pendulum zone as a scale of 10. Like, okay. Like, you, just, you went a little bit too crazy. Like, if this card was real and I would say, and you would ask me, hey, which one's the strongest between Plasma, Pendulum, Dragon, uh, Nirvana, and Odd-Eyes Rebellion? I'd be like, Plasma, Pendulum, all the freaking way. Like, this thing's freaking crazy. You throw this in... This start, this card can definitely have some freaking shenanigans and like uh, a fusion based deck that actually uses pendulums like um like moonlights or something. Like all you need to do is just have one of your fusion monsters and uh one of your pendulum based monsters fuse into this and he'll go ahead and tutor all your plays. Like yeah, let me go ahead and just uh when I'm gonna pendulum summon and I'm gonna summon all my uh, I'm gonna summon my uh, moonlight fusion monsters back from the graveyard. Like what? Like. <sighs> So anyway, tell me what you guys think about this card. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. Uh, I said we have a ton of suggestions, so I'll start working on those and uh, keep you guys entertained for fake card Friday. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.